In this, our very first math cast on geometry in 3D, we're going to be looking at the two very basic entities of three-dimensional space. That is a point and a vector. A point is usually written with a capital letter, and it has three coordinates in 3D, x0, y0, and z0. We're going to cross our z so we differentiate them between twos. So what would be an example of a point? P, we can write P equals or just P right, and then the parentheses. So let's say minus one, two, one. So where is that point here? This is our X axis, so we're gonna go minus one on our X axis and then our Y is down this way, two on the Y and then one up on the Z axis. So this is our point P. Now, the second thing we're going to look at is vectors. There are two types of vectors. There is a directional vector, and a directional vector darts at 0, 0, 0. So since we know its start point, all we need to know is the coordinates of its end point. So a directional vector is usually written with an arrow, and three numbers for the three coordinates are x, r, y, and RZ. We're using the, the latest notation, which is less than and greater than, so that you can differentiate between a point and a vector. So let's see an example of this. Let's get the directional vector that goes to the point P. So we're going to write that R with an arrow, and then we're going to write P, so we know that it went with this. And so it would be minus 1, 2, 1. This is the point and this is the vector. Let's see the vector. Here it is. To the point P. And then there's a vector between two points. So let's say we have A. Its coordinates, we're going to run AX, AY, AZ, and B, BX, BY, and BZ. And we usually write the vector with a, b, and an arrow, and that means that it's from a to b. So let's see an example of that. a, 2, minus 1, 2, and b, 2, 0, minus 1. Okay. So 2 on the x-axis, minus 1 on the y-axis, and 2 on the z-axis. So this is a, 2, minus 1, 2. And then b is 2 on the x, 0 on the y, and minus 1 on the z. So this is b, 2, uh, 0, minus 1. And the vector ab starts at a and ends at b. So this would be the vector a, b. Now every vector has an equivalent directional vector starting at 0, 0. And how do we get the directional vector? We look at r of a, b, and it is equal to, we're going to write b minus a. It's important that the direction is always taken the same way. So this means that we start with b, minus a. So b would be bx, and then we write a minus ax, by minus ay, and bz minus az. And in our example, r ab for this particular ab would be b minus a. Let's write that. 2 minus 2, this 2 minus that 2, 0 minus minus 1, and minus 1 minus 2. So that would be 0, 1, and minus 3. And the easiest way to find this point would be to copy this vector and then move it there onto 0, 0, and we're going to say, let's see, that this is 0, 1, 
minus 3, and it is. 0, 1, minus 3. Notice that those are rounded because they are point, and our AB is 0, 1, minus 3. So these are our two basic entities, a point and a vector, and we have two kinds of vectors, a directional vector and a vector between two points.